Good morning. This is Wednesday, June 30th, last day of June. And today's devotion is Do It Now. Last day of the month. Do it now. This is Matthew 5. Agree with your adversary quickly. In this verse, Jesus Christ laid down a very important principle by saying, Do what you know you must do now. Do it quickly. If you don't, an inevitable process will begin at work in you until you have paid to the last penny. In other words, if you don't want to pay interest, pay, pay the bill now. You're going to pay in pain and agony or distress. Any of those things may happen. God's laws are unchangeable and there's no escape from them. The teachings of Jesus always penetrate right to the heart of our being. And I hope they do. I hope they do in our lives. I hope the Word of God always penetrates right to our hearts. It's so important that we allow that. And they do it because they want to make sure that my adversary gives me all my rights in my natural state. That's what we think. That's why God's Word needs to counteract that. <clears throat> Jesus says that it's a matter of inescapable and eternal importance to me that I pay my adversary what I owe him. From a Lord's standpoint, it doesn't matter whether I'm cheated or not. But what does matter is that I don't cheat someone else. Am I insisting on having my own rights? In other words, when you're in an argument, if somebody's going on and on and on, do you wait until you can interject your opinion and that you're right? Or do you just let them talk? Do you pay your adversary? Do you just let them talk? Am I paying what I owe from Jesus Christ's standpoint? Do it quickly. Bring yourself to judgment right now. If you have a problem with that, have God clear it up right now. In moral and spiritual matters, you must act immediately. Don't let it build up. Every time you allow it to build up, the enemy comes in, and pretty soon it's a mile high and six feet thick. Do it now. Get it straight right now. That's the grace of God. If you don't, the inevitable, relentless process will begin to work. And don't let that happen, because God is determined to have his children pure and clean and white as the driven snow. Do it now. Get it straight right now. As long as there is disobedience at any point in, in the teachings of God, He will allow His Spirit to use whatever process it takes to bring us into obedience. And I always tell folks that. They always ask me why God does that. And I say, well, if you want, do you want to stop that? And they always say, yeah, I, I don't want Him doing that to me. And stop saying you belong to Him. If you stop saying you belong to God, but if you say you belong to God, He loves you so much, He's going to keep working that process in us. The fact that we insist on proving that we are right is almost always a clear indication that we have some point of disobedience in our lives. No wonder the Spirit of God so strongly urges us to stay steadfast in the light. Walk in the light as He is in the light. That's John 3. Agree with your adversary quickly. Have you suddenly reached a certain place in your relationship with someone only to find out that they bring anger out of you, that there's anger in your heart towards them. Confess it quickly. Make it right before God. And then, this is the portion of the recipe, make it right before God. And then, as you do that, he'll tell you when and how to reconcile with that person. And do it now. Reconcile with God first, and he'll give you the directions. The, the challenge I have for us today, is there some peace to be made in our lives is there some peace in our lives to be made today either with god or with the person is there an attitude within us that we feel we are justified in getting what we want as we want it can we surrender and give to god how we think it should go let's pray father i thank you again for these uh, strict disciplines you bring us to because there's nothing good in wanting our own way lord there's nothing good in, in trying to reconcile with somebody if all we want to do is argue our point. So, Lord, let us surrender that to you today. And, Lord, if there is someone, let us come to you first. And then as you tell us and how you tell us, we'll reconcile with that person. We love you, Lord, and we give you this day. And you're going to give us the strength to do whatever you call us to. And we pray this in your son's name. Amen. God bless, and I'll see you tomorrow.